everyone how are you all doing in this video we are going to talk about homepod yeah it's been a long time that we have talked about homepod i was one of the only person talking about homepod back in the day like two three months ago and uh, i have i just noticed that i have really stopped making homepod ways in homepod videos and i know you guys really missed it so here am i talking about homepod yet again your favorite topic let's get right into today's video without wasting any more time yeah i am the owner of that infamous beige color homepod mini so stop criticizing me for having a beige color homepod mini this is a dirty one but I swear this is not as dirty as a lot of people on internet own. Yeah, I I just happen to be one of the famous person owning a dirty HomePod, which is this dirty. Anyways, let's talk about Spotify support on HomePod. Well, this is something I have been talking about since the day one of HomePod. Still, there is no Spotify support of HomePod. HomePod OS is still really really inferior compared to alexa and amazon pretty much any other uh, home related speaker smart speaker it is really really inferior because it just limits you to few apps one of those apps are deezer then apple music of course and if i'm right pandora as well but i don't use any of those apps i just use spotify and i have spotify premium i don't have apple music or any of those apps these are is just not available in my country then uh, pandora i just don't like it the ui i i'm just not familiar with the ui i just don't like it in general neither anyone uh, in my house and in my uh brothers use uh the pandora or deezer any of those apps so i'm not really familiar with it so there's no way i can use those apps and ask siri to play songs for me from those so there is only way i can just use my phone connected via airplay and then uh play songs you know the deal now let's talk about is there any possibilities of spotify supported on the siri of home pod mini there is some possibility still there is no way that we have all the hope left yes i know it's been a long time that it should have been here already we have been waiting for so long and it should have been here for us already the spotify support it is not a big deal siri should have been supported for the spotify by now but now that it is not supported we can't really complain a lot but just to wait for it what i expect is the ios I mean the home pod OS 17 which will be announcing and uh, on our as a beta on uh, this year WWDC and will be available to public to update your home pods directly without beta version uh, by September or a uh, maximum by November you will be able to install that update and I'm pretty sure that that update will be the update where you can easily download anything and will have a lot of restrictions gone on home pod os 17 let's see fingers crossed talking about my experience till now my experience has been amazing i upgraded to my sony home theater for listening songs as uh, i have started to listen songs in my drawing room and i used to use it uh, use home pod in my small room which is my own room my studio i used to use home pod in my studio and now that i use a home theater so i tend to do more of those stuff and uh, connecting my speakers basically i use home pod for basic things for example can uh, just using the smart things of it turning off lights turning on lights turning on the studio lights and uh, uh, adjusting the light brightness from home pod siri and sometimes when i am done making video i just ask siri to play song for me and what she replies with spotify is not supported on home pod mini wow not to forget airplay is still really really bad i don't really love it a lot it is convenient but still it is not the most reliable way to connect and just play songs on your home pod i still think there is a lot of work that should go into it i'm not sure about the home pod 2 the new generation of home pod it supposedly have better internals and better software and better processor so i guess that's a bit better but i still don't have a lot of hopes with it because home pods in general uh, come on let's be honest you think from going home pod mini from going from home pod mini or from original home pod to a new generation home pod processing powers matter a lot like 
unable to connect HomePod. That is the splash screen that I get at least once a day. Play is really unreliable and I wish they should work upon it and improve it on the HomePod OS 17. My name is Jay. Thank you so much for watching this episode till the end. Let me know down in the comments below if you want more HomePod related videos. I am working on how to clean HomePod. Yes, I know I need this video myself. So I am working on how to clean HomePod video and I know a lot of you guys have dirty HomePods too. If you do happen to own one just like me, not as bad as me probably. Uh, so if you do, do ha happen to own one which is so dirty just like me, just subscribe to this channel. We are so close to 10k and I want to get to 10k as soon as we can. Subscribe to this channel right now. My name is Jay aka Tech Hyped and I am signing off.